Well, I think that's right. I think people figure the lawyers have all the answers. They don't really. They only have the legal answers. Uh, but uh, impeachment is a legal proceeding, and the trials were legal. And, uh, and I think if it had not been for the law, if it had not been specifically for lawyers, like uh, Leon Jaworski and Archibald Cox and John Sirica and Peter Rodino and John Doerr uh, and all the others, uh, that this conflict would never have been resolved because politically the president always has the edge. The press will always go along with the president, as they did in this case, with very few exceptions. But the evidence can only be gathered uh, by uh, the techniques that we've set up in the system of law and justice. Subpoenas, uh, cross-examination, sworn testimony, the threat of perjury. And these were the things that eventually uh, uh, resolved this crisis. I think it's very easy to psychoanalyze somebody from a distance. I don't see any evidence that Nixon was any further off the deep end uh, when he left office than he ever was. Uh, that rambling speech he gave, uh, kind of maudlin thing the morning he left office, was almost a replica of his uh, mood uh, when he lost the governorship of California. That's the kind of person he is. He doesn't make a lot of sense except when he's tightly disciplined with a speech that he has to give every word of. And even then, he always, I think all through his career, uh, seemed in grave doubt as to who he was. 